Hey guys, Holly here. I got this beautiful little coffee table with a cane shelf for five pounds on Facebook Marketplace. I love cane and I really wanted to make it stand out a little bit more and become the focal point of the piece. So I started out by cleaning the whole piece really well. I'm using Brillo pads and hot water to clean this one. It's got quite a lot of grime stuck in all the crevices and so I decided that a deeper clean before doing any sanding or other preparation was necessary. After everything was dry, I started removing the cane shelf so that I could start work on it. I'm going to use this extra strength white vinegar with some hot water to try and lighten the cane slightly. I'd like to lighten the colour without painting or whitewashing if I can, because I really like the more natural look to it. Alright guys, I'm going to use some of this primer on both sides of the shelf, just to make sure I don't get any bleed through from remaining stain. This is the colour salt water, it's a really nice warm white, so we're going to paint this over the base of the lower shelf. So I've got some spray adhesive here. I'm going to use this just lightly to attach the cane to the painted shelf. about getting it to stick down too much. I don't want to use too much adhesive on it because it is super sticky and I don't want it coming through the surface. I also have these canes that I've taken off that will sit around the edges with little panel pins in them. Okay guys, I'm gonna prep the frame of the table for painting now. So I'm gonna go around with a pair of pliers and just remove any little nails that are still sticking out from the shelf and then I'll go over the whole thing with a sanding sponge. All right guys, we're gonna, we're gonna get painting. This is Black Sands from Dixie Bell. So we're going to do the whole frame in this colour.
So this probably looks really weird, but I've started doing this recently when I have glass or mirrored surfaces with a frame around them. I find it much easier to just paint over the glass that little bit. It gets me a really thorough um, paint job sort of under all the curves and right into the seams. And then it's actually super easy to wipe the paint off the mirror or the glass once it's dry. So now that I've removed any of the messy excess bits of paint, I will just go back over with a small artist brush to touch up any areas that I've missed. I'm gonna use these panel pins to hammer through the rods on top of the cane shelf. And I'm gonna use some carpet tacks just to nail down any stray bits of cane. Some of the edging did get a little bit damaged while I was cleaning it. So I'm gonna use these carpet tacks to make sure that it all sits nice and flat and looks really tidy. Okay guys, this is the finished result. I'm really pleased with how the cane stands out against the white colour on the shelf underneath and I'm so pleased that I was able to leave it in a really natural finish rather than having to paint or whitewash it. Black Sands on the Frame by Dixie Belle is one of my all-time favourite colours so far so I just love the way that this stands out against the wood and the white. Obviously light cane is a super fashionable look at the moment, so I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me whether you think I should have whitewashed the cane, do you think I'm right to leave it as it is, what would you have done in my position? Don't forget to leave your comments below, let me know what you think of the style, and please hit like and subscribe because it really really helps the channel. Thanks a lot, see you next time!